Now that the fiasco in Tokyo has been resolved, Mike Tyson has recovered quickly and is bouncing back into the ring to face Alex Stewart. Ever since he lost the title, he retained the nobility of a heavyweight champion. As he weaves his way back into the title bout, the current champ eludes him. In spite of the personal distractions outside the ring, Mike is at peace with himself. All right, how are your preparations for your fight with Alex Stewart? In great shape, both mentally and physically. Great. What's the most difficult thing about not being champion? Yeah, I'm a champion. Champion's frame of mind. I'm always going to be the champion for a long time. Okay, all the talk right now surrounds the Foreman Holyfield fight. Uh, does that allow you to quietly go about training and business as you prepare to regain the title? Well, regardless, I never even think about it. I'm just basically in good shape and I'm prepared to fight. Who do you think you'll eventually fight for the title? Phil Foreman? Doesn't matter at all, my brother. It's like I can fight anybody. When I'm right, no one can beat me. So what have you learned from the Douglas loss? No, it's fucked up one particular night. Are you? I, mean, so I don't base you know I me. Mean? I'm sure you, you, you know what I mean, you being who you are, went for jobs and they said no. You know what I mean? What? You didn't stop trying. You know I mean, people get left back in school. You think they stop trying, stop going to school? It's just a minor, minor setback. Anytime you want to establish being the best in the world or anything, you're going to have some disappointments. You know I mean, those things happen. I'm pissed, but you know, what the hell? I'll make it up. So when do you think you'll fight for the title? Doesn't matter. When time comes, I'll be ready. When people are raising questions about Razor Ruddick, that seems to be like the most toughest fight out there for you. Do you believe that? Well, anyone. I can beat anybody. When do you um, plan to um, get married again? Hey, no time soon. Are you married? No, I'm not. No, I'm all right. I'm okay. So you're more happier now? I'm very much content with myself. I mean, when you say happy, you know what I mean? Happiness, you know what I mean? It's just a feeling. You know what I mean? It's like when you're hungry or you're thirsty. It's just a feeling. You know what I mean? It's no main objective. People say, well, you're happy. It's just a word someone gave you that um, describe a feeling. You know what I mean? When I decided to accomplish my goals, I gave up all means of even thinking about being happy. Because, you know what I mean? Like, there's a feeling. You overcome the feeling. And when you're happy, you get emotional, you get involved. And that's why situations happen. You can no longer perform when you're in that kind of frame of mind. Happiness is just a feeling. I'm content with the way I am and who I am. I'm out of here, Cole. Thanks. Take care. All right. You good. Mike Tyson has grown up. He's 24 now. And I would say his best years of boxing are ahead. He's working harder and is certainly more disciplined. Alex Stewart may have gone eight rounds with Evander Holyfield, but come December 8th at Trump Plaza, the new Tyson era begins. Irvin Nixon, New Jersey Network News, Atlantic City.